What's up, everybody? We're back in our boxing attire in Night City, getting ready to go boxing because after clearing out that NCPD bust and selling off what we found, we have more than enough money to start boxing. Oh, what are these guys doing? It's a gang. I think, uh... I think V wants to clear the whole city of all of the gangs. I don't know what that'll do. I don't know what kind of chaos that'll start. But, uh... Anytime we see these guys, I say we just start going for it. Oh, jeez. Well, that took out everyone. I thought I was gonna have to have a gunfight. Oh, boy. Cyberware... Capacity increase progressive shard. Oh, that's nice. All right. Well, that was really quick. I didn't know I could just toss a grenade like that. It seems like maybe the update improved grenade power. I'm gonna go with that guess. Oh, I hear some visceral slashing in the background. You can, can you guys hear that? I don't know how uh, how loud the uh, game will be in the uh, final edit. Sometimes it's just too loud and I need to turn it down a little so you can even hear me at all. All right, let's let's box these guys now. Not you too. It's just me. And where's the sportsmanship? Sheesh. Come back when you wise up. Uh be waiting. I have wised up. I have wised up and I say that because I'm fighting two people, we're betting 8,000. We're raising the stakes. Fair. See, no problem with that. Good. So, so can, can we, we get, get started? started? All right. Let's go. When you're Show fighting two you people got. at once, you try to take out one as fast as you can. It looks like this guy has accepted. And this guy wants a piece of me too, though. Oh, this is fun. I wish it, the animations for fighting were a little, a little bit better. But, um, like, it'd be nice if my guy was hopping a little. Yeah, don't come running at me. All right, we knocked out one of them. I got this charged up. Oh, well, he took that punch really well. Let me see if I can counter. All right, I did. Stop! That wasn't too bad. Stop! I give up. I took a couple punches, but. Knocked his brother you clean out. Had enough like your brother, or hungry for more? That ain't my brother. Oh, that's me. Who's talking? Jesus, what's Him. so hard to understand? Okay. Here. No mouth movements. Your that's winnings. weird. Let's uh, let's imagine they're psychic too. <laughs> Their oscillator links uh, also made them a little little psychic. You gave me my winnings. Let me check. I had thirteen thousand before this. Uh, Twenty-five thousand now. All right. Don't worry. Sweet. There's always the next fight. Stop Absolutely. talking to yourself. Read your own thoughts. Out of curiosity, you guys can read each other's thoughts. No, no. Same person. Same person. Same, same thoughts. thoughts. But you guys are two the different case, people. I'd be on schizoid meds. You are Incredible. brothers. You started out as brothers. Yeah, to Just because you have an awesome circus ring to boxing like, ring. Give me a break. All right. I don't want to say that was too easy. That's kind of mean. Let's be good sports. But, like, come on. What do you guys think? If if they were if they started out as brothers, then even though it seems like they're reading their own thoughts because they have an oscillation link, which I'm going to assume means that like, like the wave patterns of one brother will, like, synchronize with the wave patterns of the other. There's still two, like, awarenesses in there. Like, one, one brother can tell the other brother to stop talking to yourself. Oh, that person's got, like, bright gold hair. Okay, so what are we gonna do next? We just, we just, oh, we gotta level up. Uh, let's see. We got good body, we got good reflexes, we got good technical ability. I don't know if we're going to be cool, sorry guys. But, um, I don't know, we just got done boxing, so let's say that we level up our boxing. And this I don't understand very well. Do I have to... Oh, I have to have nine body in order to uh, go up here to these upgrades. What's this? 50 
plus 50 damage to enemy vehicles and their occupants and minus 50 to yours. That sounds pretty good. I think I'm going to go with that. All right. We're a nomad anyway. We're good with cars. This... Oh, shoot. I just heard a grenade go off. Sounds like there's a battle going on somewhere. Dang. Oh, and there's a gang right there. Looks like they're trying to maybe hustle. How are they battling? And that person's getting away. That's good. Hope you don't go around the back side of that cart. Okay, took out most of them. Got one left. I'm going to rush in with a shotgun. Oh, man. You check the... the chamber before firing each shot? That seems a little inefficient. Alright, gonna go grab all the stuff from this guys real quick. Okay, let's go figure out where those explosions were coming from. It sounded like they were coming from right over here. But I'm not hearing them anymore, so... Oh, I see a couple police officers there. Maybe they were part of this... Okay, so since it's not 6 p.m. yet, and we need to go to Lizzie's bar after 6 p.m., but before 6 a.m. to meet with our client for this uh, job with Dexter Deshaun, uh, we're gonna go to where we heard uh, reports of a cyber psycho. Oh, clothing vendor. Got any nice threads for me? If thrift falls into your definition of nice, then sure. All right, so I did... Uh, get a little bit of a change of attire. I couldn't help but get these pink fluffy boots. They're snow boots. I know they don't go really well, but hey, I, I like them. And you know, whatever brings you happiness, you gotta do it. Even if it doesn't really match the attire, match the aesthetic, if it makes you look weird to other people, you gotta be yourself. Otherwise, otherwise where's the joy? Looks like we're going over a big, like, sky bridge over the traffic. One of the things about Night City, though, some craziness going on there. One of the uh, things about Night City that I think is so interesting, but also just makes me really not want to live there, is, like, look, we are right now below uh, a highway, and there's an even higher highway there, and there are roads way below us. You gotta feel when you're way down there, you gotta feel like you don't matter, you know? Like, you could disappear and the police would never find out who did it. How do I get down there, guys? Oh shoot, don't, don't just jump off. I want to walk naturally through this city, but man, is it hard to figure out how to get to places, you know? And if you're living down there under the undercity, how hard for it? How hard is it for you to get out? Okay, I know I'm doing a little bit of roof hopping, but like seriously, I don't... Okay, there's there's a natural way, kind of, of getting down. But look how precarious this is. There... You gotta imagine that there aren't any sorts of, like, laws being regulated uh, for building down here. Can there even be enough police officers and government officials um, to regulate this area? Or are they going to spend their money on places where people are paying more taxes, like the corpos, you know? But it really looks lived in. I appreciate the... Oh, look, I'm getting a call from a person. A cyber psycho attack, all confirmed. Even reported to MaxTech. Thing is, nobody's gonna show cause Militech shut it right down. You ask me, Psycho's gotta be one of theirs. My eddies are on Lieutenant Mower. Anyway, Corporal's gonna go straight into treatment. So make very, very sure you keep her in one piece. Okay, we need to not kill her. Which means, like, I think... Oh jeez, how do I get in here? I think I can use a bat, maybe. What in the world? Guys, can I not get in there? Okay, I have to go through a different way. 
I'll go through this red tape. I wonder how I'm gonna just knock her out. Oh, maybe, uh, Militech orders? Let's see. Target Lieutenant Mower. So it was Lieutenant Mower like Regina Jones thought. Threat level critical. Target presents symptoms of cyberpsychosis. Result of telephone consultation with physician negative. Treatment impossible. Target is located at the attached coordinates and waiting for paramedics to arrive. Surprise attack possible. Warning. Target is armed with military grade combat implants. Highest caution is advised. Upon neutralization of threat, send report via encrypted channels. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Not interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to take down her health with uh, gunshots and then knock her out with my fists. So here we go. Looks like they're invisible. I didn't kill her, did I? Oh, shoot. Out. She's invisible, though. Like, how do I... Oh, shoot. How do I know how much health she has left? Um, this is intense, but... Ah, I take, I got taken down. So they seemingly abandoned her. They're saying, okay, we're going to help you and uh, paramedics will be on the way. And then they're going to try to take her out because they don't think there's any cure. So we're going to have to try to take her out without killing her. It looks like she's right there. She's wearing some sort of invisibility cloak. But, all right, let's, okay, that's her health bar. Take health. Oh, I don't have any more health. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's try to beat it this time. She seems pretty difficult, but I'm gonna use an assault rifle this time. Well, hopefully, I'll uh, have a little bit more success. I don't know if I should keep it in, in there, I and mean, then, like this, I don't have to worry about uh, electrocution from the water at least. And I can throw a grenade in there and kind of cook off pretty well. Man, she dodges so well. knocked her out. She has one health left. Okay, I'm gonna an electric baton. A conversation. Alright, let's read this. This is probably important. Code red, code red. Dr. Martin Sipura. Copy, reading the biomon, describing your symptoms. Lieutenant Mower. Convulsions. Cramps. Can't shut off my implants. Aggression. Understood. Biomon data suggests an inevitable loss of control soon. Lieutenant Mower, oh my god. 
Lieutenant Mower, please no, don't call Max Tech. I just need some downers is all. Dr. Martin Sapura, of course, don't worry. Militech takes care of its own. Head to this address. It's an out-of-the-way place. You won't be able to hurt anyone there. Our paramedics come get you and take you to a clinic. You'll be back to normal in a couple of days. Lieutenant Mower, thank you. Thank you so much. Dr. Sipura, no problem. You look out for the corp. The corp looks out for you. Okay. That is pretty intense, Militech. You're uh, having your higher-ups who have cyberpsychosis. You're taking them out in a private area. Making them think that they're about to get saved. And then look what happens. You lose a ton of people. And uh, Lieutenant Mower would have been taken out too. If we hadn't come. And it would have been such a waste of life. Satan's pits. Huh. Uh, well, geez. I'm glad that she's alive. Yeah, she's moving. She's alive. Cool. So we completed that cyber psycho attack after multiple attempts. And, you know, the last time it saved for me was, like, way up there, so I had to run all the way across the bridge, come down here every time. Kind of annoying. But, hey. We're through it. And, uh, it's time for us to go to Lizzie's bar, maybe. I... It's 6.38 p.m. What a good, uh, way to take my time. Or use my time. Spend my time. You know, one thing you guys will learn watching me play games is oh geez that was weird is how bad I am at finding the right words sometimes anyone else struggle with that sometimes is it hard for you to uh, say the right words at the right time feel free to share with me in the comments you ever have that problem where you're uh, you just oh man there's so many I'm not suspicious please please don't take me out you ever have that problem where it's hard to um, hard to get to where you want to go because uh, you live three stories down in a huge city and you just can't find a ladder back up? No? Well, then you don't live in a place like Night City, which is probably a good thing. Hey, stairs. Stairs, this is a good sign. How am I going to get there, though? Am I in Kabuki now? Ooh. Maybe I should put my gun away. I'm going to eat some food, too, guys. Yum. I ate a milkshake and a taco. It's a good, uh, healthy meal after saving a citizen from Militech. Ooh, what is this? Health booster and a dull scalpel. That sounds a little scary. I feel like I just grabbed someone's operation kit. Okay. Man. What a maze this city is. Probably gonna have to go up this up this road to the main road. You know what? I'm calling my car. Oh, don't run me over. Alright. Kind of a rule that I had set for myself was that if things were uh, under 200 meters away that I would just walk there, but it kind of seems like I'm going to have to go more than 200 meters away uh, just to get to a place where I can go, well, just to get to a road that I can use to go to Lizzie's bar. So I'm going to turn here. This should hopefully take me where I need to go. Never mind, it takes me to those gangsters again. Uh, wait. Do okay, I want to go this direction? Don't mind me, everyone. Oh, shoot. Okay, this isn't what I wanted. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm out. Okay, car, 
hope you can figure out how to find me. But yeah, look how hard this city is to navigate sometimes. I know that there, like, we could pop up a mini-map that will tell us how to navigate through it. But come on, like, shouldn't we be figuring out how to navigate through this city on our own? Uh, you know, that's, that's what it would be like if we were really in the game. If we had just come to Night City. We're a nomad that just doesn't know that... Bro, your cheeks are out. I guess that doesn't matter to him. Look at him, he's just standing there staring. You got kind of flimsy looking robot arms, bro. Where are the synthetic fibers of muscle? Entering new area, Lizzie's bar. How do I get it? Alright, this must be Lizzie's bar. Well, that's a cool LED. Watson Whore. Oh, what kind of bar is this? Kinda seems like we're gonna go into a strip Looking club. Looking a little put out there, input. All right, guys. Doing a BD. Just, uh, just remember, uh, this is a, an adult stream. This is an adult game. Uh, BD. Um, sure. And I go. Brain dance. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs. No groping. Someone catch your eye. You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look okay. that great to you. Like I don't know. Mm -hmm. Why does Door's she look open. like she's made of plastic? Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. Like, are you guys, are you guys like made of plastic? Are you not what human anymore? Face you have. Oh, yikes. I don't think you would want that. Not to death. Not really to death. Well, actually... Okay, let's learn about the mocks here. It's one of those stories that is either very simple or very complicated depending on who you ask. For Janice, it was a mix of both. The mocks come to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner, no one to make sure street justice was on our side. So we took matters into our own hands. The Mox is composed of the people who, if any of them disappeared from the streets tomorrow, you might never even notice. Sex workers, endless artists, aimless rebels, and restless souls who weren't dealt a fair hand in life. Today, the Mox is thriving, as demonstrated by the booming biz at Lizzie's Bar. Lizzie's is... Lizzie's is renown... Renown? Okay. For... Should probably be like Lizzie's is known for being arguably the best brain dance club in Night City. Corporate suits, gang goons, pop stars, and locals alike all gathered at Lizzie's Bar to kick back, have a drink, and dip into the most beautifully scrolled and tuned BDs you've ever experienced. Most customers, however, are oblivious to the fact that the club is gang-owned and operated, that the mocks are in charge watching after their own, just like the Lizzie of Legend once did. Know the story? Lizzie used to work here back when it was just a typical dive with a stripper pole, Janice proudly explained. She took care of the girls, made sure Eddie's were falling into their pockets, and their teeth weren't falling to the curb. Like this one time, this f editor's note, referring to a Tiger Claws gang member, was having too much fun with one of the girls, and Lizzie just couldn't stomach it anymore. Story is that she deprived the worm of his little tiger balls so quick and nasty, it took them two days to clean up all the blood and puke splatter. Of course, the claws found out fast, and they flatlined her in a flash. But everyone that she had impacted in some way, they were still around. They came together, fought back, and, well, you already know the rest. So it kind of seems like, uh, yeah, this this place is a gang of people who, yeah, don't have anyone having their back. Interesting. Hey. Going to the bartender? Get you something. Yeah, I'm looking for Evelyn. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Uh, I'm V. Name's V. She and I have a, uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. We're gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Oh. Keeping, uh, keeping Evelyn safe from any creepers. 
What's up, Evelyn? You and I have similar hair. Evelyn Parker. Colors. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. I knew it was you. Uh, well, what? Let's see. I'm gonna take a shot of my tequila. Or like a huge Since gulp. On, only tequila I, guess. I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that, or it was just a lucky guess. Oh. Uh, let's talk shop. Contract. Sure. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. Mm. But not here. Come with me. All right. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Super secretive. I like the uh, uh, flow on that leather jacket there. It's nice and a lot more realistic than past games I've seen. Okay. Doing business in a BD lounge. Actually, I don't think this is a BD lounge because it's like a hologram. You gonna talk? Or you gonna just smoke? Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Hmm. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Can you elaborate, please? I don't know what you mean. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's, Let's just talk about business. Cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Compeki Plaza. Nope, out of my Classic price range. Classic hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Oh, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? Okay, He's that's... town? That's like the Don't company's the name, sheets? Arasaka. The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. the head of Arasaka Corp? Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. There we go. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Mm, that's a smile. Yeah, you are. Okay, uh... Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Uh, We're not nervous about your this. We're gonna act up. like... Yorinobu recently swiped the chip you know from an doing. Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Yeah. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics at? an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. Hmm. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. All right, let's okay. go. What's next? 
Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking Thank off you. to in those boxes? Like no. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Mm. Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Okay. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back. Uh, Are you a mox? Years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a Where's good boy. Way? Tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Another the mox page, just in case we didn't know what it was. <clears throat> hey, there you are. We're this locked is v. in here now. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. <laughs> hey Judy. Or not bad, this hardware's Since top shelf. Sig amps, acoustic and motor nomad. wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Model this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that'd support additional scanware. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Talking to do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. I gotta go Turn deep. To him. This is like, um... Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Matrix stuff. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Yeah, I have. Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. I'm glad I don't have to do the tutorials with you guys. Unless maybe I do. Oh, I like the sound of that leather squishing. Here we go. Is this gonna be like that uh, uh, first Halo game, like Master Chief configuration? Look left, look right, look up. Gotta create your sensory profile first. Here we go. Profile okay. away. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm. Lizzie Jizzy. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. It it's an item. is. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. I love One my shoes. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Hey, Lizzie, what do you like? What do you think of my shoes? Okay. Oh, Judy. All set. Judy, what do you think of my shoes? You need to test your profile first. Huh? Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Uh, I got it. I'm, I'm going to have to do a tutorial. Where could we... Okay. 
Can't he just use my recording? Right? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. We got something here. Should be perfect. Let's skip the tutorial. This won't take long. Be diving in and Whoa. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD Whoa. to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay. Okay, on you go. Is this Maelstrom? Is this a Maelstrom game number? Here we go. Down! Everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! We're watching yeah. hey, a robbing uh, uh, through a person's now, brain. Now! Before I blow your fucking head off! This is intense. This is the area I... Oh, shoot. I got shot. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Well, what was the no point way. of watching Let's that? Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah, I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, <laughs> please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Oh, poor V. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. It's got like PTSD from that moment. And they're just like, no, we gotta no keep problem, going. I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, back me Evelyn, on this. I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage? Observe, not fuck with anything. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Hmm. Okay, V. Are you Call manipulating Judy? You see, like, it's so hard to trust anyone in here. It seems like hey, Evelyn hey, is just manipulating Bugless. Judy. I got some useful footage from Kunpeki And Judy's Plaza. trying to it's help Evelyn. Kunpeki? They're oh, both pushing me. Much. Someone there with you? Uh, it doesn't matter. Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. Alright, see if I can walk you through it. This room's got to be very now. warm with all of this. You've got to give me access. All of these Opening servers. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my requests now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick temp ice and we're clear. Quick temp ready ice. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Oh, ice is their term for, um, for security. You have to break the ice to to hack, you know. All right, V, eyes open. Oh, Gotta we're find Evelyn. Out know who's keeping the relic. You look like Yikes. a cup of fuckable meat. Are you, Evelyn? She, I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then. You shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. Okay. I need a minute. Listen in on that here. conversation, V. Could be something important. To. Okay. I'm um, finish. Let me listen in. I need a minute to finish. All right. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks My father's involved. Tired. So it's like Visual this old you're Nobu who thinks nothing and will change. a scientist or and something live forever in his tiny talking about bubble. I should not even the be chip. listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot. 
utterly removed from reality, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation huh. carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. You know. Heard that? Relic docks gotta be yeah. around here somewhere. Look for them. Relic docks? What does it mean by docks? Yeah. Okay, it has to have special conditions. I think there's... So there's... I've got visual and audio right now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Looking for relic docks. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot. Utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. So, we're here with Evelyn. It seems like Evelyn, uh... Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can be stupid. Nope. It wasn't long. <laughs> Don't want to have to kiss that guy. Is everything all right? You seem tense. What's this? Edgy. Just a TV. Here in a drone. Ventilation and cooling. Servers. Okay. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Is that a camera? Um, doesn't look like it. So is this? Are we saying that this is a raw brain dance a because it will pass. you can't see <sighs> everything very well? Get to work on that. Would it be like way? Cl oh wait, just of course it would be clearer. Condition. We just saw that. You wish to make demands of me? Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Oh dang! Stuff was pretty fun last time. Candy. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. So those, like, hash marks up there mean it's something that we can scan that's, like, important, but I don't see anything that we could Very scan. Very nice, but come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Oh, we can scan that gun. Ah, uh, yo. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. All right. Yeah, we don't want him pulling it on us. Like this. He's got his tablet out. Oh, oh, dang. I need to like pause it on here. Rewind. Manual there we go. Details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be uh, easier okay. to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Um. All right. Way too hot on all of these guys. Not cool enough in other places. Hot servers. It's hot on the ground there. We're gonna have to look for something that's like really blue. Or, I don't know. Oh, like that. What's that? Alcohol? Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. All right. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No, probably not. No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Oh, the temperature's too low? In ice? In Just in ice? Or is it like dry ice? Probably not dry ice. Oh wait. Uh what's this? Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Huh. You're in Obu's got like a case secret here. panel. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Well, what's this then? Quit out of the editor. Okay. Just a fancy ass fridge. Uh <laughs> just a fancy fridge. Alright. We got what we needed. Get everything you need? Yep. 
That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. See you then. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Okay. Capitan Caliente. Yeah, can you take this thing off of me? Thank you. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Thanks. Portable device for handling that. BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Okay. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, Blue hair. talking corpses. Yikes. Uh, we need that recording. We needed that recording, Judy. The BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. Why is that? If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Well, let's destroy it then. Nobody will ever know. We got what we needed Evelyn, from it. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Okay. Alright, Evelyn. It's been a pleasure. Talk to you later. V, one sec. Uh, yeah? What you need? Let's walk. We already have been. We've walked so much together. What do you need, Evelyn? Well, what do you think? Well, a brain dance is pretty crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll so, just play this calm. What now? what now? What do you need? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. So you want me to backstab decks. Uh, I'm a man of honor. No way Dex no trusts me. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, mm. you won't need Dex for anything. No, I can't do that. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. I'm a nomad. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always it's about, about the trust. Money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V. Hmm? See, so you can trust me. I not just to hope say you're as good either. as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. All right. Thanks, Evelyn. Good luck. Now go. All right. Let's head out. I need a few words. Yeah. You told me to go. I'm not listening to what the rest of the stuff you're saying. Okay, guys. Looking, oh, hey, Deshaun. What's up? I got the Turns recording. Out recording from Compeki was worth our time. Gina and Lisa. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. Working on it on soon. It now. T Bug says no chance of that ship without that bot. To work then, Mr. B. Oh, is this the way out? Yep. Okay. All right, everyone. Hey, thanks for helping me, uh, or thanks for watching uh, me, my video. Jeez. You're also helping me by watching, balancing. Thank you for coming along with me as I boxed today and as I uh, really struggled trying to get around Night City. I appreciate... Uh, you guys watching I appreciate you liking if you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe I I've, know I've got some people who are watching each video It'd be really helpful if you guys subscribe so we could uh, start having these videos recommended to more people um, I've been Alcaplasm and as always have a fantastic day